Hello, I'm Kurt Lidke with the Herald and News. Here's a rundown of some of the top stories affecting Klamath County. It's the Klamath Countdown. Proceedings began in federal claims court in Washington, D.C., with Klamath Basin witnesses testifying regarding the 2001 irrigation water shutoff, known as the Takings case. The case is a culmination of an April 2001 water shutoff incident with the Federal Bureau of Reclamation to irrigated lands in the basin intended to protect fish downstream. Irrigators claim that action damaged their livelihoods, which led to protests, and are seeking around $30 million in damages. The Herald and News' own Holly Dillamuth is in D.C. currently, providing daily updates of the court proceedings. Crater Lake staff held a public meeting in Klamath Falls Wednesday, encouraging feedback for a proposed trail management plan that will affect recreational opportunities at the National Park for years to come. The informal setting was a chance to share initial proposals and collect feedback from the public, which included suggestions like more horse trails, mountain biking, hiking, and dog-approved areas in summers, and in winter designated areas for sledding, tubing, fat tire biking, snowshoeing, and winter camping. Comments will be collected from the public online through March 1st, with a final trail management plan expected by 2019. It's been a long road for Henley tennis coach Dehan to establish the program, but nine years of hard work was rewarded by being named the National Federation of State High School Associations State 2016 Coach of the Year for Girls Tennis. Henley's tennis program was started under Han in 2008, but only became an official team sport last year following reconstruction of the school's tennis courts. The annual Winter Wings Festival is a few short weeks away, scheduled for February 16th through the 19th, and as always, the symbiotic relationship between birding and photography will be a highlight of this year's events. Plans include workshops and field trips offering tips from how to take quality photos with a phone or tablet to how to touch up images, while field trips will include feeder hops at Running Y Ranch, showing how people can enjoy birding from the comfort of their home with strategically located bird feeders. One of the keynote speakers, Chaz Glatzer, is a world-famous nature photographer will showcase his work and lead one of the field trips, providing a unique chance to learn directly from one of the masters. Remember, today through Sunday is the 57th annual Klamath Bull, Heifer, and Select Ranch Horse Sale at the fairgrounds. You can visit klamathbullsale.com for tickets and special event info. Also, just a reminder, this weekend marks the start of the Herald and News no longer delivering Saturday newspapers. It's not for a shortage of stories. There will still be plenty of content in our remaining delivery dates, and our website will continue to be updated on Saturdays. So until next week, for these stories and so much more, be sure to pick up your daily copy of the Herald and News or visit us online at heraldandnews.com.